Hey there everyone, Vaish here, back again with another video and let's continue our discussion for the interface. In the last video we saw the interfaces and yes, we found a lot of similarity between interfaces and the type as well, but the method that we are having here is a lot more different. We haven't discussed them earlier, but uh, this makes interface a little bit unique as well. And in terms of more uniqueness, interface also comes with an extension and some people like to call with fancy words like you can reopen the interface and all that. Uh, that's nothing, it's just adding more properties into this. Let me walk you through. It will make all of the sense of what is reopening of the interfaces. I'm really uh, not a big fan of the word reopening the interfaces. It's just adding more values to the interface itself. So let me walk you through. So for example, in the last video, we worked on uh, really having, giving this user an email, user ID, Google ID, read-only IDs, and a couple of methods as well. But later on, uh, maybe this is not something that you have defined. Maybe this is a library that you are bringing in from GitHub or maybe somebody else has written a package. And you like this package a lot, but there was only one thing missing that this interface doesn't have an, a simple, this has a Google ID, but this doesn't have a GitHub login ID maybe. So you want to give that. So in that case, you can just go ahead and again, uh, this usually doesn't happen like this, like once you are writing interface after that. Uh, this is something that is stored in some files and these are file being brought by other developers or maybe other libraries. So you can go ahead and just find out where that interface is and you can actually go ahead and write this user again. It is totally allowed. And now here we can say that I want a GitHub ID or a GitHub token as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say, give me a GitHub token and that will be a string. Now with this, you have, you can also make this optional in case you want to, but let's just say this is compulsory for us. We are taking an input from the GitHub. Now all I have to do is make sure I add one more property so I can go ahead and say, hey, I want to have a GitHub token and that token is going to be a string. So I'm going to say, let's just say GitHub. And of course with a comma. So this is all good and you realize that, yeah, you don't have to touch this entire thing, but you also get the entire functionality in your a variable or a constant that you have declared up here. So this is why a lot of people love it. And during the interviews, if there is a TypeScript specific interview, uh, people like to call it as reopening of the interface. Yeah, I, I found it a bit mouthful as well, but I think that's great. Now, one advantage also that you get with interface is inheritance. That is something really great. So for example, you want to create an interface and you know that you want to call it as admin. Now, obviously you can go ahead and define the admin, whatever you like, maybe you like a role or something. But one great thing about the admin is you can just go ahead and say extends and uh, extends. Extends is a keyword and then you can use and you can say that, hey, I'm going to go ahead and extend it with the user. So immediately you get all the properties that are there for admin, but you also have that. So you can now go ahead and call this one as admin. And yes, that will also work. But since it's an admin, there should be some role as well. And it can be simply a string, then you have to add it. But maybe you are defining a role and there are some literal values. You have a literal value of admin. Uh, maybe you have a TA. Uh, maybe you have something. Uh, what else? Maybe a learner. Learner. Ah, come on. <laughs> if I can type that, <laughs> that would be great. Okay, uh, learners. So now you have to obviously give a role as well to if you are extending this. So let's just say we have a role. And in this case, uh, since this is a literal value, I can just, just go ahead and say admin. This will not be correct. Uh, this needs to be exact value, then it will be correct. So you get the idea how you can have it. And by the way, you can just put up a comma and you can just have another interface. If you like that, you can go ahead and call that. We don't have another, but you get the idea how this is being done. Really super simple, super easy. And that makes uh, the whole of the interface. So you can extend it, you can inheritance it, you can reopen and inject the values into it. Uh, but also word of caution, if your interface is, you are naming it, make sure any package or library that you have installed don't have that interface that you'll be messing it up entirely. So make sure you don't do that. And again, I would like to bring in the documentation of the TypeScript as well. So this is the small documentation. And yes, they also bring down this question that what is the difference between type aliases and interface? There's nothing too much. I highly recommend you to read this uh, paragraph up here. So here they make interface and here they make type. It says extending the interface goes like this. You can simply say extends and then provide the name here. That's fine. In the case of type, we have already studied it that there's an ampersand and then you go with this weird way, which I'm not a big fan. That's how you do it. And if you want to add a new field, you can open this up anytime and do it. And uh, the, a type cannot be changed after being created. This will obviously give an error. So these are coming up directly from official documentation. And this is where you should be trusting the most, official documentation. So I hope you get the brief idea of how these things are being done. And I think now you have an entire knowledge about interface. 
And again, read a little bit more of the documentation. They will give you more idea. But throughout the documentation, you'll find this point, X and Y. Um, yep, they are great examples, but I think a uh, more realistic example could help you to understand a little bit more. So that's all about interfaces and let's catch up in the next video.